All right, guys. It took me probably, I'll say, like an hour. The reason why it took me an hour to put my shoelaces on my shoes was pretty much, uh, I messed up on this one. So for this one, I forgot to put the tongue. <laughs> you guys see it? So it has here that where I have to put the tongue. So I might have to redo this one. So I forgot this one has it because you can't even tell because it's all dark blue. Uh, so yeah, I have to do this. So uh, for if you wash your shoelaces, uh, just be careful that if these things rip, it's going to be super hard to put your shoes. So keep that in mind. Uh, I, will, I, will <laughs> I will recommend buying new ones or you're just going to have to uh, get a ball pin and try to like every time you put it, poke it or put a scissors and poke it with it. Because if these don't have the plastic, uh, the little plastic ones, you're going to have uh, you're going to have a plow and put it on them in. Yeah, because these are right there. So this was done. So I finished these. So I have to fix these. Then put them in my bed. Oh, my God. And then for my John Elias, uh, this was easy to put in. Uh, I had a little plastic on this, but it did rip. So I had to pretty much, this was manageable to barely put it slight in because it's transparent. So it's not that hard to put in. You know, it's not leather. Uh, it's more like plastic, so it was easy to put in. So these were easy to put in. But for this one, uh, both of the shoelaces are fine. But this uh, this has a torn tongue. So I don't know if you guys can see it. It's the stitching of the tongue is ripping apart. It's like, I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit. So I don't know. This, this shoe might pretty much go out of commission. So I might have to wear this. Because you can literally tell the tongue, like, it's already ripping, even though I put it, I put the shoelaces in and everything. So, this is only a matter of time before it rips. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to wear these a couple more times, doing some cardio of Stairmaster, you know, and put them out of commission, even though, I mean, it's a good shoe. You know, it's, this is one of the most comfortable shoes I have for more, like, cardio conditioning or walking. Yeah, for my Jordan 3s that I was putting the shoelaces this was nice. This was perfect. This was one of the easiest ones because the shoelaces were still intact. So you guys could see it. This one. But the other one was not the easiest thing to do. Yeah, so there we go. Put them in. Like I was saying, it probably took an hour. Oh, my God. This one was a painful to put in. Yeah. Oh, this one. Okay, this one wasn't. I think it was just the Jordan 5s, I want to say. Yeah, I think it was the Jordan 5s, but yeah. Like a little bit, like it was chipping off. I had to cut with the scissors a little bit, try to get like some of that plastic CPU or just a little plastic. I don't know why they don't call it CPU, but yeah, these were easy to put in. Man, this one took me about probably 20 minutes or 15 minutes. I was deciding if I should just, if I should just buy, I mean, put some new shoelaces, put the old ones, but I was already halfway there, like halfway here with them this took a while to put to be honest like look like i had one of them with the plastic and then the other one was like this you cannot put this in a damn little hole one of these little holes so i had to pretty much like i was telling you ah you can use a, a ball pin a pin and stick it and then put the pin or you could use scissors i had to use scissors or pretty much how to twist it like this and then try to pull it with no nails no nails in there which was super very hard so that took a while man these took a while to put in this one was the same thing too i literally had, i literally had one that had the plastic and the other one that was like all messed up <laughs> so it was either with the scissors or I was like, hey, let me let me put one of these in here while this one and try to like jam it in there. But it, it wasn't working. It was like half time working, half time not working. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. There, I put on my shoelaces on my shoes, guys. Pretty much it. So that's pretty much all the Jordans. The only ones I missed up was probably the Jordan 13s, which I'm gonna have to fix right now. Just so I could put the tongue with them. And that's pretty much it, man. That took a while. Um yeah, honestly, if you guys gonna if the if it doesn't have a plastic no more and you guys want to deal with it, I'll just say just buy new brand new shoelaces. They're only like a dollar or two. If you go to your ninety nine cent store anywhere, you can find shoelaces, you know, or your spare shoelaces. But then again, it's like 
Do you really want to wear, do you really want to put brand new shoelaces on your old sneakers? Or do you want to deal with this problem, you know? So I took an hour to put like pretty much one, two, three, four, four pairs of Jordans and two of them had the little plastic thing. I, I, shoelaces, eyelids, the uh, rip apart. So yeah, it took a while, man. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see when we wear them to the gym, you know, I still have a messed up knee. I mean, uh, it looks fine, but it's, I still kind of have some inflammation. So I don't know if I'm going to do some cardio today. So we'll see, man. Other than that, guys, I'll let you guys keep uh, posted. There we go, man. Fix my shoes. That took a while. <laughs> I'll see you guys around, man.